Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome to the fourth episode of Logistically Speaking. Is India ready to become the manufacturing hub to the world? We Indians are an optimistic load and it's our greatest strength. But sometimes this becomes our blind spot and we tend to ignore reality. We are already convinced that India will take the spot as a manufacturing hub for the world and this will dramatically change our fortunes. But are we capable of delivering logistical efficiency and scale in production? When we talk about trade or export, we need to talk about India's strengths. One of our major assets is the availability of labor, in fact a surplus of it. Manufacturing always moved to countries where labor is cheaper and government policies are conducive to business. In the second half of last century, manufacturing moved from the US to Europe, then to Japan and from there to East Asia before seemingly settling in China. China masterfully added scalable production capacity which turned out to be their secret source. Now the popular business sentiment is to move out of China, not just due to the pandemic or politics but also given to the fact that labor is getting expensive in China. To fill this gap, India along with other Asian economies like Indonesia, Vietnam and Thailand are in the race to claim this spot, focusing on low labor costs, facilitating scale, defining supportive policies and this developing port of course. In fact, Vietnam seems to have gained position and its export are nearly on par with India. And if they continue at this pace, they might soon overtake India to become the manufacturing hub to the world. Before that happens, India has a shot at claiming this coveted spot only if we focus intently on building scalability in manufacturing and port operation. To give you a frame of reference, the cumulative Indian port capacity is 10 million TUs as opposed to China's capacity of over 160 million TUs. So, even if we scale up production, we will struggle with being able to ship this cargo out. To add to that, the turnaround time in major ports of competing countries is five times better than India. And in domestic movement of cargo, to achieve optimization of logistic cost, we need to have more expressways and more speed trains which is available for cargo movement. Only when we are able to bridge the gap in infrastructure, we have a short at exponential growth. Thank you for listening to this video and I'm sure some of you might be having different opinion on this and some of you might be agreeing on this. I'm looking forward for your response and comments. You can send it to me in my inbox or you can directly mail to me. Thank you very much.